Recently, I saw a, a video about a social experiment that was done. Very interesting. So what they did is that they told 40 men and women that they were going to participate in an experiment to do a discrimination. And the idea was that these people, they would be interviewed as though they would be interviewed for a job. And what would happen is that they would draw a scar on their face. They would draw a scar on their face to make it out as though they had been injured. It was some kind of, uh, you know, scar left on their face. And they put them in a room. The makeup artist came and drew on the scar. And before they went into the interview, the makeup artist said, just one second, we need to touch up the makeup a little bit. And instead of touching it up, they wiped it off clean. Then these people went into the interview, they sat through it, and after the interview, they were asked questions. Did you feel as though you were discriminated against in the interview? Did you feel as though people were treating you unfairly? What do you think most people said? Yes or no? Yes or no? What do you think? Most people claimed that they were discriminated against. In fact, some people went as far as to say that I remember the interviewer asked me certain things and said certain comments simply because a scar on my face. They were convinced that they were the victims of discrimination. But the people conducting the, uh, the experiment said, actually, we took off the scar from your face before you went into the interview. And they were like, oh, really? And the whole idea behind the experiment was to talk about something else, which was having a victim mentality. When a person thinks that they are a victim, they start to interpret the way other people treat them with a bias. They start to think that other people are out to get them. And in fact, many people think like this. Many people suffer from a victim mentality. And some of the indications are that you feel as though everyone treats you unfairly. Everyone is out to get you. It could be your friends. It could be your co-workers. It could be people on the street. It could even be your family members. It could even be your spouse that you have these negative feelings about. And unfortunately, it's actually only in your head. And as a result, people with victim mentality, they always shift the blame. They always blame other people for their issues. And that is not a healthy thing for a Muslim to carry around. That type of negativity and pessimism.